Hello! In front of me I have Apple Watch SE second generation and I'm gonna show you how to uh, turn on or set up a screen lock protection on this device. First we need to wake up the screen on our watch. You can do it by pressing any of the buttons. Once you wake up the screen you can press the crown button to open the menu. Now scroll through the menu find the settings icon and then tap on the settings icon to enter the settings. So let's tap on it, right here. Once you are in settings, scroll down, find the option called um, passcode, this one, and tap on it to enter. And here, as you can see, we have the option called turn on or turn passcode on. Tap on it and this will bring you to this page. And right here you can basically set up a passcode, a pin that you want to use to unlock your watch. So let's enter the simple 134. It's gonna tell me that it's quite easy to guess, but I'm just gonna tap on use anyway and repeat it to confirm like this. And once you're done, the passcode will be enabled. Okay, and once it's enabled and the screen turns off on your watch, uh, and you try to wake it up, you should see this lock icon in the top, on the top of the screen and you will need to enter the passcode to unlock your watch. Quite simple. So let's unlock it, like this. Now let's go back to the settings, the passcode settings, and here we can change the passcode. So for example, let's say you want to change it, simply tap on it, uh, tap, uh, enter the current password and then enter the new one. like this. Okay, you can also uh, enable the option unlock with iPhone, but if you want to enable this option, you need to uh, do it on your iPhone in the watch app, basically. Uh, next option is simple passcode. If you disable this option, basically it will allow you to cre create longer uh, passwords uh, than four digits because by default simple passcode is enabled and it only allows you to use four digits. But if you disable this option, you will be al allowed to uh, use more than four. So let's like, uh, unlock the screen, go back to settings, disable the simple passcode, enter the current passcode to confirm. And now we can enter new passcode and we can use as many as we want. And then tap on OK. like this. Okay. And below we have option called erase data. What this option does is if somebody fails um, entering the passcode 10 times, uh, the watch will basically uh, reset itself to the factory default settings. It will erase all the data from, from, from the watch. You can enable this option if you want. Um, And to enable it, simply tap on the switch next to it. Come on, let's go back to settings. Um, right here, you can simply enable it by tapping on the switch. And the last option is wrist detection. Basically, uh, if you're using the uh, protection, passcode protection, uh, your watch will turn, uh, lock itself uh, automatically whenever it detects that you're uh, not wearing your watch. Quite simple. So if you take off your watch, it will lock itself automatically. And if you don't like this option, you can enable it or disable it simply by uh, tapping on the switch uh, next to it, of course. And you need to confirm with the passcode. And tap on turn off to turn it off, like this. Okay, let's enable it back on, like that. Quite a lot of typing in the code for some reason. Okay, so that's how you enable the passcode, but if you want to disable it uh, as a whole thing, you can tap on the turn off passcode right here in the passcode settings, enter the current passcode, tap on OK, and wait until the screen lock protection is turned off. And now it's, it's disabled, so your watch won't get locked after the screen turns off. Okay, and that's how you set up a screen lock protection on this watch. Thank you for watching. 
If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like, uh, the like rather, on the video.